Okay, I have stopped. Um, so when I left the house this morning, uh, my husband was like, okay, Tanya, <laughs> be selective. So I tried to be, and I still feel like um, everything I've picked up can probably, you know, like fit in a box, like a really big box. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to have to work backwards because that's how my pile over here in the passenger seat is looking. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got in the older neighborhoods first. Um, so here's, and a bunch of this stuff is going to go to my antique booth. Um, unless it's worth a ton of money, like I always say, um, I haven't done any research on anything. So I picked up this uh, vintage little wood plaque picture for 10 cents. It says um, Hummel there at the bottom. So I thought that was kind of neat. And I've never seen anything like this. It's 10, but it says Elgin. It was a dollar, like a vintage uh, little freestanding clock. So that was interesting. If it works, I don't know, but for a buck, I thought I'd try. And now, this is something interesting. I have no idea their value. They might not be worth anything, but they were only a dollar each, and I've never seen anything like it. And people, maybe at the antique mall, uh, somebody might want this. Who knows? But they're like vintage warmer plates and you plug them in and she says that she used them last Thanksgiving so I guess they're still working um, but I have never seen anything like this and looky there it looks like she bought it at Goodwill for $2.99 but I only paid a dollar so um, yeah bottom says food warming tray there's no year on it it's made by Jasco so I thought that was interesting. Um, again, I've never heard of the warmer plate. Here's another one. Uh, this one's called a warmo tray by Atlantic Precision Works. Um, again, one dollar. And um, oh yeah, and I got this at that sale. <laughs> so I love wolves, you guys. Um, and look, it's got it's like this is like the daddy wolf, and he's got like his little cubs cubs hanging out there so I thought that was really neat it's just like um, I guess what do you call that like ceramic so uh, actually it looks like it was cracked at some point I didn't even notice that but at any rate I thought it looked cool on my bookshelf so I got that and let's see what else I got I've, got a, I've accumulated a lot of stuff since I last checked in with you guys um, I picked up this uh, vintage oil painting here oops that's upside down Tanya and uh, it was 50 cents and it is by it looks to be Geo Hunting something like that but um, when these are really cheap I'll pick up pick them up and uh, put them in my antique booth this one uh, I guess the wood frame is made by Fredericks um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. And let's see, I picked this up for two dollars. I don't. I just thought it'd be neat for the booth. The top is glass and it says um, Pyrex on it, like an old type of percolator or a teapot. It's like metal, aluminum. Um, let's see here on the bottom says American made, pure aluminum, American made, made in the USA. So it's a pretty little uh, green wood handle. Thought that was cool. My wolf head, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Now I found a little, uh, another little planner, and um, I think I paid a quarter for this. Little foods with like a little black and white poodle hanging over the top there. So, um, and it looks like it said something on the bottom, but. I can't make that out anymore. Oh my gosh, I got a ton of knickknacks. <laughs> uh, this little blue bottle here, I think it was a quarter. The bottom says Genuine Phillips, made in USA. So that's going to go to the booth. And I got these really cute cat bookends, but they're also, wait a second. I was going to say they're piggy banks, but I, I see this thing here at the bottom that I don't see anywhere to put coins in so now I'm confused I have no idea why that's there but um, I don't know if you guys know maybe you can let me know but they're really cute I thought about uh, making a project out of these and maybe spring spray painting them gold 
uh, I don't know, they're interesting, so, and I paid 50 cents for both of them. Goes back in there. To be careful, they didn't have any um, newspaper or anything to wrap this stuff up with. Set this in the back. And then, um, everything I'm about to show you, I got for $3.25 at the same sale, but it was one of those type of deals to where I, um, I shopped and then I was leaving and then I found some more stuff I didn't see before. So I got this little doll here, this little uh, porcelain doll. And I just picked them up because I thought they looked really old. Uh, so I'm kind of a little creepy. <laughs> But yeah, I don't really know a thing about dolls. Uh, so I'll probably uh, maybe do a little research. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. It might just go in my um, booth. And this is really neat. I love the trinket box, you guys. So this one's it's a hinged one. And um, the bottom says, uh, I can't make that out. It's made in Japan, Isco, Japan. So, that's what the bottom looks like and just a little trinket box really cute and look at this I love this it's a little um little goldfish paperweight isn't it cute just a little bitty mini one I might have to keep it it's so stinking adorable and then I got another one this one's a little bitty mini one too paperweight and I got this little uh trinket box here it's by Villaroy and Bach uh, naive Christmas so it's a little trinket box and that's what oh, shoot <laughs> okay slow down Tanya that's what the front looks like really cute little uh, winter scene there so and I can't remember if I showed you guys the bottom so that's what the bottom looks like um, and then the last thing I got at that sale is this really pretty little decorative egg trinket box and it's got these pretty little flowers on the front it says uh, made in japan as well and um i cannot make out what the bottom says but um it's the inside says 1984 limited edition so i thought that was uh, really neat and even the bottom has these little flowers that run along the edge so really like that. That lady, this lady I bought all this stuff from said that all of the stuff came from her great grandmother's house. So I thought that was really neat. Um, so then, then, and that's all like the stuff I got at that, uh, that older neighborhood. So at the last garage sale I showed you guys, I picked up this mask here and he was $2. Always pick up the mask because even if they're not worth any money, uh, my son might want to wear them. Uh, but I did pick this one up because I noticed it was signed and it says um, Morris. 1984 there on the back so i can't find anything like it on ebay i might put it on auction maybe for 25 dollars and um okay good here's the other bag of stuff like that i got this um this year it says two dollars on it but i got it for a buck um and it's made of wood that's me and then i got um Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you about my really big score, but I'm gonna show you after this jewelry. So I got these pieces of jewelry. They were a quarter a piece. This is a pretty long uh, beaded Chico's necklace. So um, real long and pretty. And then I got this little piece here. I guess it's like a stretchy bracelet, but I'm totally gonna craft with it. And I need to hurry up. It says I've been talking for nine minutes, good Lord. And I got uh, two of these little butterfly uh, beaded things. I have no idea. I'm probably just going to craft with those. And oh my gosh, guys, the books. The books were quarter piece. I got three of them. Two of them are not really worth anything. And like I said, I'll pick up the books when they're just a quarter uh, without scanning them because if, even if they're not worth anything, I'll take them to half price books and get some cash. But I picked up this book for a quarter. And oh my gosh, do you even know how much it's going for? It's going for $128 on Amazon. I'm so stinking excited. So, um, yeah. And it has a 159,000 uh, 159, rank. So it's probably gonna sell, I would say, within a week or two. However, I'm looking through it for the first time and I am seeing a bit of um, highlighting and some underlining. So I will just have to um, make sure that I 
make that known whenever I um, list it and put that in the description because you definitely don't want to get bad feedback. Um, so yeah, so that's my haul from the garage sales this morning, you guys. So I'm so excited and, um, and I'm about to go into Goodwill. And of course, I will let you know if I find anything in there. <laughs> Okay, I did pick up a few smalls in there. I got uh, three pairs of glasses. They were 99 cents each. Now these are pretty groovy looking. You can definitely tell they're vintage, but I think that they are bifocals because they have this here. And um, I'm not seeing any name brand, but hey, they're like my prescription. <laughs> so what do you think? I like them. I might keep them. <laughs> So I got those, and then this next couple of pairs, I didn't see any brands on them. They're pretty scratched up, but they're old looking. You never know. Uh, I've seen these sell for good money on eBay. And here's another pair. This is really a pretty pair for the ladies. Um, so yeah, I think these are probably prescription. I was talking with one of the manager, managers in Goodwill and uh, she said normally if they don't stay on there that means they might be prescriptions. So um, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I picked up were these uh, earrings uh, for $1.99. They're called House or it just says Dairy on it, Dairy on, on it but I think it's House of Dairy on Beyonce Knowles uh, clothing line. So there they are. And the back looks like they retailed for $24. So I thought I would uh, give it a go. Yeah, and even on the back, there on the heart, like right right there, it says Dairy On on it. I thought that would be uh, kind of neat. Although I did do a quick search on eBay, and there not really a bunch of stuff. But um, I'm going to put my spin on it and see if I can get some money for them. I'll probably try and list them probably for $24. <laughs> So um, that's it, you guys. I forgot. I was hungry. I still need to get something to eat. And then I'm going to head home. Madeline's having a friend over today. So I got to get home and get some cleaning done and um, unload all this stuff out of my car, get it priced for the antique booth because we're probably going to uh, make a trip, a quick trip out there tomorrow to drop off some stuff. And I had a couple of people respond in one of my last videos that they. Um, one is something that they saw me unpacking at the antique booth, so hopefully that stuff's still there so I can sell it to them. Um, so that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, Saturday garage sale ride along. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to show you guys that everything, whenever it was plugged in and lit up. I don't think I showed you guys this. I think I forgot. This was, I believe, 50 cents, and it's by Lefton. It's a little baby girl that's praying. And um, get down, Skippy. And it's marked there on the bottom. So um, I haven't looked at the value. Oops, that's wrong thing. I haven't looked at the value on this one yet. So um, if it's not worth a lot, I'll probably be uh, just going to my antique booth. Hello, Skippy. And then this is that crazy weird science electric thing. Watch out, boy. Um, so if you touch it, you can see it kind of goes to my finger. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Um, I'll probably definitely be keeping this for my party. I think it'll look really neat out on the counter and people can touch it and check it out. And um, that's really neat. Oh, you see my fingers, they're like, they're like um, shooting fire or something. <laughs> okay, and here's the kiss one. Let me show you um, what it looks like plugged in. Okay, so I'm so excited. It doesn't look neat. Um, and it actually uh, spins around. So yeah, three dollars, y'all. Actually, I got all of these lamps here for four dollars. Not too bad, huh? What do you think, Skippy? So yeah, so there's Gene Simmons with his tongue sticking out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited about all my finds, you guys. Oh, Skippy is totally photobombing. Skippy, come on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.